Hello my beautiful friends and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is another bag review and I did an unboxing on this bag when I got it back in October and since then I've gotten quite a few of you asking me if I could do a review and what I think of the bag now so I'm finally getting around to doing that. I really wanted to use this bag quite a bit before doing a review so that's why it took a while so I've used it a lot over the past half a year or what. Obviously not a lot the past month, but I've used it so much that I feel confident in doing a review and sharing what I think about the bag. And uh, let me get the bag. So the bag right here, the Valentino Rock Stout Tote, and this is the large one. I think it's just their general size, and then they have a smaller one as well, but this is the larger one of the two. And I know it looks a little bit like misshapen and dented in camera, especially because of all these lights, but it's really not. It's just very, very soft and you can bend it any kind of way. It will definitely show the shape of the items inside if you have something like, if I have my phone in my pocket and it's quite full, the shape of my phone will show through. So it's just very soft. It's not dented or misshapen or anything. And you can see holding it, it's kind of like, it's a very soft bag. I don't mind, but you should definitely know this is not a very super structured bag. But anyways, let's go over the specs of this bag. So as I mentioned, it's the larger one and I'll put the dimensions of the bag, the measurements on somewhere compared to the Neverfull, which I do not have. But in comparison, I think it's, it's a little bit longer this way and then it's narrower in the bottom. So hopefully that tells you something. Otherwise, honestly, just go and compare the measurements. But one thing I get is that it's a much more narrow bag and I'll get back to that later. But that's it for the dimensions. For me, it's a really, really good size. And the strap drop, it works quite well on me, but it's not super long. I am quite short. I'll show you mod shots. Uh, they work on me well. They're not too long, but if you're very tall, maybe this could feel a little bit short. You know, as with totes, it can be quite useful to try them on. The retail price on this one is 980 euros, and I think that is quite a reasonable price compared to other designer handbags and designer totes, especially because this one is full leather and it is lined as well with leather. It has suede inside. The outside is calf leather, and I don't know, it didn't say about the inside, but it's definitely suede, like it's definitely leather. So I want to show you, it has a magnetic closure on the inside as well, at the top here, right here, and I think it's good. It's not too strong, but it's still quite, like, decent. It doesn't, doesn't just, like, pop open. So obviously a tote is a tote, and it will always have, like, it won't be very theft proof, but I think the magnetic closure helps, and also so the bag doesn't like spill out as much. I quite like it. It also has these like D rings. Can you see that? That's not easy to see. So they have D rings here and um, one on each side. So I think that's really great if you want to attach like a pochette or something. I have used it as a shoulder strap. Um, I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, they are stitched on quite well. So I mean, the bag didn't take any damage from it. I just don't like the shape it creates because the bag gets kind of like, I don't know, you know, it's a bit too long. So it just looks really weird when you're using a strap like that, but you can definitely try it out. Again, I wouldn't recommend it, but I'm not totally sure why they have those D rings without like supplying a strap. So the bottom doesn't have any feet or anything, but the, this piece here, the bottom piece is, reinforced it's a bit stiffer than the rest of the bag and the corners especially are a bit more like i'm pushing quite hard on them so even when i have things in the bag it doesn't kind of cave in in the bottom as easily as you can see right now it's empty right now but it doesn't like sag as easily it's obviously it's not super structured or hard but it's definitely not as soft as the rest of the bag i want to talk about the inside of this bag a little bit because as i mentioned it is fully lined with suede and that's probably not that easy for you to see in the camera but it also has two pockets in there as well uh, hopefully you can see that and then it has a zipper pocket on the other side so right here if you can see that it's lined with some kind of satiny fabric and then i don't really have anything in there just like i don't know some 
envelope with some things in it. I don't know. As long as we're talking about the inside, uh, I would probably use a bag liner with this. I have just not really gotten around to do the research on which one to buy because obviously a never full one is not going to fit because it's so much more narrow and the dimensions aren't quite right so I just haven't really gotten around to getting one yet. Suede is a very luxurious finish but it isn't the most durable. I have sprayed this one, this entire bag with Carbon Pro as I do with all of my bags and then I spray the inside as well but it's just like it, it just collects dirt a little bit more than other kind of leathers or fabrics even so mm, Maybe one day in the future I'll get a bag liner. I would recommend that you do. And obviously it is part of the Rock Stud collection. As you can see, it has the studs in like a platinum finish. They're kind of like light gold. They're not gold gold, but also not totally silvery. But they go around the entire bag, front and back. And then you also have the logo kind of imprinted in the leather in the back here. I don't know if you can see that. Maybe a little bit there. It's very subtle, so I'm okay with it. And then it also has the logo in kind of like gold foil in the front here. But that's really it for kind of like the branding. So if you don't want to have even that out, I just turn the bag around. And honestly, nobody is going to see the logo there because the leather is pebbled. So it just kind of blends in with that anyways. So what really drew me in to this tote in the first place is that I wanted a very high quality and a luxury tote but I didn't want all of the branding because I wear this to work and I don't want it to kind of scream designer but I still want it to be a little bit extra. I didn't just want a completely plain black tote. The studs just take the tote up a notch and I really, I feel like it's a very luxurious looking tote. I love the attention to detail but none of the over-the-top branding. No huge logos, no monogram, no nothing. So it's very... Only bag lovers will think, hmm, those studs could look like part of the Valentino Rock Stud collection. Nobody else is going to think, why have I spent so much money on a bag? So that is kind of where I found my happy medium and I really like this one. When I wear it, I feel like it adds a lot to my outfit. I can tend to think that a tote can be a bit boring and I'd rather just wear one of my cute like crossbody bags or shoulder bags. But when I'm wearing this one, I really feel like it just... It can really take up my outfit like so many of my other beloved bags. So I really, really like that's my main love with this bag. Another thing is that it's very comfortable to wear. And I think a big part of it is that it's quite narrow. So if the bag gets too wide, like I'm walking like this, I can't stand it. It's so uncomfortable and I just feel like I'm falling over because the bag is so big. So I really enjoy that it's kind of narrow as you can see um, there. It is also a really soft bag. As I mentioned, the leather is very kind of like it molds and that goes for the straps as well. They're super soft. I have seen that some people have mentioned the studs got a little bit too annoying, that they found them uncomfortable to have when they're wearing it on the shoulder. I haven't noticed that, but I have worn it mostly with coats or thick sweaters just because it's been winter and that's when I've worn it. So I will report back if it's really if we get to summer and I need a new bag but for me it's not been a problem I have several of the rock stud items like even a bracelet and the studs have never bothered me there but we'll see so as I mentioned the inside is suede and suede is a material you just you just have to it's not as carefree as other kind of like pebbled leathers or canvas or textile linings that would make this bag more carefree. For me, it's not a problem. I haven't had a huge issue with it. But if you are quite messy, if you tend to have food spill out of everywhere, do not choose suede lining. It's going to drive you crazy. This bag being leather, obviously, it's not going to be as hard wearing as a coated canvas. It's just not. But still, I feel like it's held up quite well. I, I kind of haven't really been that careful with this bag because when I got it, I just said to myself, this is not a bag that I'm going to baby. This bag is going to survive me and my life or it's not. And that's just like the end of it. And up until now, it survived really well. So I've put this on the ground with like 
rocks and sand and everything, even the wet ground, and I've shoved it under a desk. I've kicked it a few times, not on purpose. I do not have anger issues towards my beautiful bags. And I've shoved it into like the basket of my bicycle. It's held up really well. I can't see a single scratch. Maybe that's because the leather is pebbled. You won't be able to tell. The bottom is perfectly fine as well, despite all my efforts to try to scratch it when I'm like flinging it on the floor. But considering I haven't used the bag liner on this, which I really would recommend that you do, uh, but I think it's held up quite well. I do think it's worth mentioning that I've actually used this bag a lot in the few months that I've had it. I've used it for work. I don't put my laptop in it, but other than that, it carries a lot, like my water bottle, my lunch, papers, folders, whatever weird stuff I'm bringing to work. And I've even used it as a gym bag. I do like wrap my shoes and sweaty clothes in some like some kind of plastic bag or something so that won't like stain or kind of make the bag smell. <laughs> but I have worn it to the gym and I've worn it shopping. I take it to the grocery store, obviously not right now, but I take it to the grocery store and just load it up. So it's been really useful and it's been really used. But even with all that use, it has still held up really well. The only thing I want to talk about here are the straps. And they are so like thin that I was really worried when I got them that they wouldn't be able to hold on to all the stuff that I stuff into this bag. But they've been really good. Uh, at one point, I, I'd say about a month into using it, they kind of started to peel. And I was like, oh my gosh, are you kidding? That's too much money for something that ridiculous. But I'll see if I can insert a picture because I did take a picture of it. If that happens to you with this tote, do not be alarmed, just peel it off. It's just excess glue. And uh, that was found out just through trial and error where I just like peel it off and the leather underneath is perfect. So right now there is none of that peeling. They have held on perfectly and just, yeah, no, kind of wear on them at all but after the glue peeling incident I haven't had single issue the straps have held up perfectly and they are really comfortable to wear they are the whole bag really just has softened up even more now one thing I want to mention is that if you are used to your typical canvas bags or very very light tote bags it is a bit more weighty than that. It's just you're not going to get around that with the bag being full leather and leather lined. That's just a fact of life. But with that being said, I have never ever ever thought that this bag is too heavy. I have other bags that weigh, they are smaller and weigh more and they cause a lot more hurt to my shoulder. So just, just keep that in mind. Leather, like obviously heavier than canvas, but it's still, yeah. If you're looking like if you need a very light bag on your shoulder, don't go for full leather. Just don't go for coated canvas. If that's not typically a concern for you, I would never notice. I never really thought about the weight. So I wanted to show you how I stuff this bag because when I don't use it, I like to stuff it with the paper that it came with just to make sure it doesn't misshape or kind of get weird. I just it really helps. I do that with pretty much all of my bags. But this bag is obviously quite big and I don't want to take like 10 chunks of paper in and out every time. So I just took the dust bag that it came with, which is also really large. And then I just filled that one with the paper that came with the bag. And that just makes it so easy to kind of stuff this bag when I'm not using it because all the paper is in here and then I just put that into the bag and I'm done. So far I really really like this bag. I liked it a lot more than I thought I would when I bought it. I just wanted a really high quality designer tote and I've been very pleasantly surprised. I kind of now want it in the beige and the light blue as well. But that being said, a bag with this price tag has to really hold up. And I've only used it for half a year, so I will continue to use it. For me, this one has to look pristine for years to be worth that kind of price tag. That's just how I feel about it. I am impressed though, because I know not every bag can take the kind of abuse that I've put this one through. So, so far I am impressed, but I 
like my final verdict will come later. If you have any questions about this bag, just leave me a comment down below and I am very happy to share pictures or extra videos on Instagram. If you kind of wonder something about the bag, just I'll link my Instagram down below. If you have a question, you can just go and message me and I'll send you whatever I can. I'll help you whatever I can. And with that, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.